President Trump is launching a fierce counterattack on the subject of Russia and Attorney General Jeff Sessions' meeting with the Russian ambassador, the now famous meeting. House Minority Leader Nancy Pelosi claimed she never met the ambassador, but then a picture emerged proving that, in fact, she had. You're looking at it now. Another picture surfaced of Senate Minority Leader Chuck Schumer schmoozing with, of all people, Vladimir Putin. Well, today, President Trump tweeted this, we should start an immediate investigation into Senator Schumer and his ties to Russia and Putin, a total hypocrite. The president later said this, I hereby demand a second investigation after Schumer or Pelosi for her close ties to Russia and lying about it. Schumer responded this way, I'll happily talk regarding my contact with Mr. Putin and his associates. It took place in 03 in full view of the press and public under oath. Would you and your team, question mark. Well, meanwhile, Nancy Pelosi tweeted this, Donald Trump doesn't know the difference between official meeting photographed by press and closed secret meeting his AG lied under oath about. Well, Congressman Sean Patrick Maloney represents New York. He has called Sessions a bigot, and now he says he's a criminal, too, potentially. Congressman Maloney joins us now. Congressman, thanks for coming on. Nice to be with you. So here's the key graph from your press release yesterday. You said this, we need to look into the bigger picture here and figure out why he, Sessions, perjured himself and if there's more to this story. We need a no-kidding independent investigation into Russian hacking and influence. What are they hiding? So the obvious question is, what exactly are you implying? That Sessions is in the employ of the Kremlin, he's an agent? What, what's the implication of this? No, but I'm saying we should find out what the truth is, and we shouldn't be afraid of the facts. And I think we all ought to step back and, and just let the facts uh, play out. Right. It is extremely concerning that he gave false testimony under oath uh, to the Senate uh, you know, as part of his confirmation hearing. You know, that's enough for me to suggest that he step aside. But I think the bigger issue is what the Russians were up to because we now have multiple officials who were, seem to be playing footsie with the Russians and either lying about it like Michael Flynn or forgetting about it in the case of Jeff Sessions' uh, statement or, you know, hiding it in the case of bringing him into Trump Tower to see the president's son-in-law. What's going on with the Russians? And it would be great if both parties cared equally about this. Right. So I think we know the answers to some of those questions. So to, to the first meeting that you referred to that Jeff Sessions had with the Russian ambassador, it was now the famous meeting in Cleveland at the Republican convention. That meeting turned out to be set up actually by the Obama administration under a program run by the Obama State Department that brought in a hundred different ambassadors to watch the convention in progress. And they brought this to the event where Jeff Sessions was. The conference was an educational program for ambassadors. The Obama, I'm quoting now, the Obama State Department handled all of the coordination with the ambassadors and their staff, of which there are about 100. That doesn't sound ominous to me. It's certainly a very different storyline from the one you're telling. By the way, those are facts. How do you respond to that? Well, then we shouldn't have any problem with having an independent uh, investigation. I mean, I'll, I'll make a deal with you. Let's have Preet Bahara do it. Let's have the U.S. Attorney for the Southern District of Manhattan, who's put a bunch of Democrats in jail. No one's been harder on Andrew Cuomo. President Trump reappointed him, thinks the world of him. I'll, I'll go with Preet Bahara. And I'll tell you what, I'll suspend my call to have the Attorney General resign until we find out what the results of that investigation okay. are. I'm not, I'm, that not sure, I'm not sure your call is meaningful in the first place, but let me just say this. Why? Be before initiating an investigation, don't you think it would be worthwhile if you could point to something that was, in fact, ominous? So the second, here are more facts, the ones you called for. I, the I second, think well, the excuse second me, I, I, think it's, I think it's ominous that we have now multiple Trump officials in communication with the Russians about Ukraine and I'm, sanctions. I'm you're going and from, you're going about from it, specifics. No, I've, I've seen this too much. You're going from specifics. We're talking about Jeff Sessions here, sure. the attorney general whose resignation you've called for. And you're making a general statement. Let's get back to the specifics and the facts that you originally called for. So the second meeting took place in his office. Present at that meeting, and no one disputes this, were two retired U.S. Army officers, colonels, both of them. If there was some nefarious conversation between Senator Sessions and the Russians about influencing American foreign policy in favor of Russia, do you think that those two officers would have remained silent? Look, I think, we, I think we should ask them what transpired. I think that's why we want an independent and fair look at this. And but is I'm, there again, any I'm willing to go with that the something facts. bad happened no, when I, no, many I, senators no, I, met with this ambassador, no, including many Democrats? No, excuse me, Mr. Carlson. I said we should have a fair look, and that's why I suggest that we have an independent guy like Preet Bahara do it, and we all sit back and let him get the facts out. But what's so infuriating, if I can be honest with you, is that you're being disingenuous. So you know that this ambassador met with many different people on both sides, and he went 22 times to the Obama White House, including during 
the campaign. Right. He's and yet the, you're saying he's we the need... ambassador from Russia. The problem is not that exactly. he meets with American officials. So what the is problem the problem is when, exactly? The problem is when they lie about it under oath or forget about it or disguise it. And that's what's happened in no, each no, of the cases no, with Mr. No, Flynn and Mr. Sessions. No, that's actually not the problem Sessions. that you're alleging. Okay, so there are two different things you're alleging. You're saying, and I'm just reading right from your press release. Sure. You're saying, one, it's that the Attorney release. General <laughs> committed perjury. You make a number of unsustainable points. Committed perjury, which is a heavy thing to say about someone who hasn't been charged or gone to trial. Adjudicated or convicted. Right, that's what and, we call lying under oath with intent. Okay. But perjury is a very specific crime that you're alleging, and you know as well as anybody that he would not be convicted in court of that. Oh, and by I the way, oh, hasn't oh, been. oh, no, I don't. I think, I think there's more than enough evidence to convict him. Okay. But you're saying more, I mean, you know, this is a theoretical conversation. What's not a theoretical well, conversation <laughs> is the next part of it where you say, what were they hiding? And I'm just asking you, as an adult American who's watching this open mouthed, wondering what is this about? What are you alleging? Do you think that the Trump administration worked with the Russians to throw the election in favor of Trump over Hillary? Is that what you're like? What are you saying exactly? What I'm saying to you is that there is more than enough here that all Americans who care about our country should want to get to the bottom of it in the in the most fair way. And I think that the what? most fair way to do that is to find out why there was a systematic effort that we know existed to influence our elections. That's not in dispute, right, Tucker? I mean, you don't dispute the finding of the intelligence agencies. You know, so we know I, the Russians were up to this. I dispute your characterization of it. Well, because I'm, I'm, my again, characterization is we should find out the facts. I don't know okay. why you dispute that. The facts are these. We can't point to a single instance where the Russians spoke to anyone affiliated with the Trump campaign that we know of about changing the outcome of the election. A. B. We can't point to a single point, data point, that shows that Russian influence affected the outcome of the election. Am I missing something? Do you I didn't, have facts I didn't, that you have I, I didn't say that, but I'm happy to let an independent investigation look at that. But I think what we do know is that they were intensely concerned about sanctions related to their activities in Ukraine. And the Attorney General admitted that they discussed that subject. Michael Flynn discussed that subject and then lied about it. That's more than enough for me to want to know more. So there's a lot of smoke here. Let's let an independent outside person like Preet Bahara, the U.S. Attorney in Manhattan that the president just appointed, let's let him find out. How about so that? So if, if I said to you, you know, people are saying, Congressman, that you've committed murder, and I'm not saying that you have, but I'm saying people are saying that. And you would say, well, there's no evidence that I've done anything like that. No, I know. People are saying all we need is to put Preet Bahara on the case, get forensic on you, and find out what the truth is. You would say that is an unfair slander against me because, in fact, there's no evidence that anything happened. Well, this is a similar case. Well, my, if, if that's what I said, it might be undermined had I recently lied about it under oath. And that's, I guess, the point. It's not Recently, that people meet with the Russian ambassador. Like, I know Chuck Schumer ate a donut with him. The point is he didn't lie about it under oath. But and you I think are that, being I think it, I, I guess we're wondering disingenuous. Why, I, I'm, I'm not being disingenuous. Yes, I'm, you are. I, I will tell follow you. the facts. I will come back on this Have show. Have you watched the tape? I will, come, uh, I will come back on this show, and I will admit that, that I was wrong. If we can have a fair and neutral examination, we need an independent <laughs> look at what happened. Why are you afraid of that? <laughs> What I'm amazed by I mean, there was is a time when there was a time are, on, when conservatives didn't you laugh filibuster. about the Russians trying to influence our country. When there was a time, there was when, a time when Democrats took that weren't seriously. calling for war with countries on the basis of no evidence not, of wrongdoing. I'm, I'm not calling for war. Well, so you had two I'm senators for, in I'm your party I'm yesterday. For a look. We, are, we have a right. excuse me. We have an undisputed effort at the highest levels of the Russian government to influence our election. I let take me, that seriously. Let me, I think, let me ask I think you an adult question, a nonpartisan, a nonpartisan question. I'm sorry. If you could just get off your talking points for two. Uh, sir, if you I'm just can, calling if for you an independent could, investigation. And I, did, and, and gonna, and I, I guess I'd be curious why, gonna, you would, why you would, why you would oppose that. Li, and I'll tell you why. Because I live in Washington, and I know that there is a long series of governments who attempt, and some successfully, to influence American policy. And that Russia is not on the top ten of that list. And so I don't believe that your concern is sincere. I believe this is a purely partisan effort to take out certain members of the administration. And you know perfectly well it is. And so it's a little frustrating no. to sit and look at you no, that's hiding not, behind no, that's the not pretense fair. of objectivity. When that's, do you think that Russia is in the top ten of countries? Name countries that influence American policy. Well, let me tell you, you, let, let me tell you how it you looks know. like w when you don't live in Washington, because some of us don't. I live in New York, and we have a U.S. attorney here who I trust, who the no, president you just serve appointed. In Washington, D.C. So I'm willing to let the president's appointee as the U.S. attorney in New York uh, take a look at it. And the fact the, is, there is so much smoke here, and Russia is a grave threat to the United the name, States. The name, name one specific way that the Russian government 
influence the outcome the outcome you of this election. You didn't just hear me say that. So please don't set up that straw man, Tucker. I didn't say that. You said about nine times that all Americans should be concerned and that all of us who care about democracy ought to want to know more. They Give should. me one example, one indication that they affected the outcome. You don't have That's one. not the standard, sir. That's not the standard well, that they the affected standard. the outcome. No. It, hey, if somebody takes a shot at my head and misses, I'm still going to care about it. There is. Then give me one example. I mean, look, you, you can Russia. agree. Look, what, I'm what not exactly here saying. What are you talking I'll, about? Do you, you believe that they that they broke into the voting machines? No. And affected the vote count? I don't know that there's any evidence of that. No. But I think that what there is evidence of, and and it is not in dispute, Tucker. And, and I and I wish you'd take it a little bit more seriously. Look, I watched your interview. I wish you would take it seriously, and, and Congressman, and not make this into a purely partisan if, if thing. Could, which you if clearly I could, are doing. If I could and finish my. And it's embarrassing my, to your office that you are. If I could finish my sentence, I saw your interview with the Attorney General. I thought you did a good job of asking him tough questions and taking it seriously. What is not in dispute? And don't he gave raise me the straw man. Excuse me, don't uh, answer. Excuse me, you. Excuse me, don't raise the straw man of influencing the outcome because I think you know that, that that that's a bridge too far. <laughs> I it's know that the whole enough. thing. It's serious enough. I know that the enough whole thing is that a they try to charade. influence the election, and that is not in dispute. You know Those what? are the intelligence agencies. We're out of time. I'm going to say I've taken this seriously from day one. I've asked Democrat after Democrat, give me something real, and none of them have. And well, I merely get an sanctimonious nonsense. That's why right. we need an independent okay. look. That's and then we'll let the facts speak for themselves. How about that? You're making this into a joke, Congressman. Thanks for joining us.